Hi, I'm Andrew and welcome to the kwmwine.com 2 minute tasting note. Today we're going to be trying the Tibble Vino Saparave uh, 2014. So Saparave is not one that too many will be overly familiar with. Uh, this particular wine comes from Georgia. Yes, that's Georgia, the Rus former Russian Republic, not Georgia, United States. Um, Saparave, interestingly enough, is what's known as a tenturier grape variety. So another example of that might be Alicante Boucher. And what that basically means is that most normal black grapes, Cabernet, Merlot, Pinot, Syrah, whatever, have got the black skin and then it's a, a clear translucent sort of pulp to them. So it chooses a clear juice. But the tenturier grape varieties have that same black skin, but they have a pink uh, red sort of pulp to them as well, so the colour going right through the grape. So they tend to produce very deeply coloured grapes uh, and wines as a consequence. They're really uh, interesting bottles of wine. More often than not they're actually used as a blending option uh, to add a little bit of colour to wines that maybe lack a little colour. This is quite interesting in the fact that it's one of the very few examples of Tinturier grape variety that is actually single variety as well. So. A bit more unusual uh, on that aspect too. So we'll see what it's like. It, intensity wise, it's fairly full body. It's not black by any means. It's not really deep, deep. So it it is still fairly full, but not over the top. Hmm, it's a lovely nose on it. Sort of sweet blackberries. A little bit of chocolate in there, and it's a bit of sort of earthy animal sort of aspects hard to point pick it out something a little bit I suppose funky is not the right word because it's, it's very clean by the nose but something that gives it a little bit of character I suppose quite distinctive you get the sort of woody tones coming in there through too as well a little bit of vanilla <clears throat> so very interesting opinion straight away in the nose Version into the full body, not completely heavy, but fairly full. The tannins are drying, but they're not over the top. I'd ex I was expecting them to be more. But there's a lot of really bright, juicy red versions of fruit, sort of raspberry fruit in there. A little bit of cherry and blackberries going on in there too. And then you get those subtle sort of vanilla and earthy tones coming through in the finish as well. Now, it lingers as well, it's quite a, quite, quite a good finish to that actually. It's an interesting bottle of wine, it's something that again, you know, if you like your unusual bottles of wine and you like something different, it's well worth it to go. Um, to match this sort of wine, the, one of the most popular things to put this with would be likes of venison, sort of those gamey style meats. Um, it seems to be a very good match. Uh, red meats of any sort I suppose, like so. If you like something unusual you want to try something different, have a go at the Tipple Vino Saparavi from Georgia. You'll not be disappointed. Remember, kwmwine.com, the place for taste matters.